Allow me to introduce myself. I am the narrator of this film, and this is the beginning of our story. With only five days to shoot and edit this film, the filmmakers set out to expose the very system that they are trying to break into. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. This is David Light, professional narrator, and I am doing an audio audition for you because I am shooting tomorrow, won't be able to make an in-person audition. I think you'll find this enough to hire me. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Allow me to introduce myself. Allow me to introduce myself. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the narrator of this film. I am the narrator of this film, and this is the beginning of our story. And this is the beginning of our story. With only five days to shoot and edit this film, the filmmakers set out to expose the very system that they are trying to break into. The story of the curtain is somewhat ambiguous. Its ending is unknown, as is the nature of documentary. I like to think the story is a version of The Wizard of Oz in which we ourselves are Dorothy, the audience, and the wizard. There is tension and suspense and a hope for resolution. But ultimately, understanding the nature of this drama is vital to our own survival. Just like Dorothy, here we begin our journey to the wizard in hopes of finding the answer. But the wizard doesn't really have answers, of course. He's just a man. He's just a man. The man behind the curtain. So, I posit this. Who holds the keys to success in this town? Who is the man behind the curtain? Who is the man behind the curtain? I am the man behind the curtain. 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 So basically, like, we're part of this uh, documentary competition. Oh, okay. And we have five days to make this doc. So that's why we're, like, so blessed. So you actually... <laughs> It is actually five days, just as you stated, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so do you want me to do a quick slate first? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Finnegan Morris, reading for... That is recording, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm Finnegan see. Morris, I'm reading for the narrator. <laughs> my name's Garrett. Um, my name's Yanni Trianides. I'm auditioning for narrator for The Curtain. Michael David Little. The Curtain. I am the man behind 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 the curtain. Are you? Who do you think the man behind the curtain is? Mm, various execubots, I'd have to say. Um, stuff made by committee. I don't think it's any one person. He's probably about five foot two, short, balding, <laughs> big fat cigar. Drives a Rolls Royce you can't see over the steering wheel. <laughs> Something like that. I just, wow. you know, somebody says, you got a nice voice. So I'm like, oh, do I really? <laughs> well, I'm mostly a theater oh, really? actor, but I'm, um, I went to acting school in the UK for three years. Um, so I was sort of trained to do everything. Because <laughs> I really don't have any acting experience. Um, I have a lot of, uh, I have a good amount of production experience. Um, but I didn't bring my production resume because I, it, I didn't think it would help my acting. But I, I, do, I really do like voice acting because... Um, do you watch a lot of cartoons growing up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it kind of struck me, it, sort of, how much those voice actors and that sort of thing, how much that actually impacts you? When I was 16, I was, you know, driving around with uh, one of the prop guys and uh, he was telling me like his life story and stuff and how he came down to direct and like how he was inspired by David Lynch and all this stuff. And, you know, not everyone ends up where they want to be, but that's partially because I think people don't really give it a chance. And, uh, you know, if your heart's really in something, I think it's totally possible, but most people get lost along the way and they just kind of end up where they end up but um, I think it's more of a personal growth type of deal yeah because this subject can piss me off sometimes or it can make me really happy <laughs> this, kind of this kind of subject yeah because it makes, it makes me happy. 
it, it makes me happy. It gets me mad when I see bad contracts, but it makes me happy when you see somebody successful. Um, so can we do more Shakespeare? No, no, let's do some more Chekhov. Everyone loves, no one likes Chekhov. Uh, I went to radio school. So radio school kind of teaches you to announce the, the, the words correctly. For, for college? Um, no, for actually for auctioneering. I was an auctioneer in real estate. So for, you know, pronouncing the vowels properly is very important. So instead of saying A, you say A. Instead of saying E, it's like E. And I, you know. I feel great right now. This is like the highlight of my day so far. So this is awesome. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, well, let's try it. Let's try it one more time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You get to be with lots of energy. Okay. Okay. okay cool. Give me everything. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the narrator of this film. And this is the beginning of our story. With only five days to shoot and edit this film, the filmmakers set out to expose the very system that they are trying to break into. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. 